hello everybody and welcome back to us about the irish and notre dame has officially announced their covid 19 acc 2020 schedule the reason why i call it covid 19 acc schedule is because the only reason why notre dame joined the acc was because of covid 19 so it's appropriate to have covid 19 next to the acc part before the word schedule I'm going to make this a very brief video. I'm going to make it very quick. I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but I am going to update you on the schedule. And there's a little bit of a surprise here. Notre Dame does play 10 conference games. And also, Notre Dame is eligible to play in the ACC championship game if they were able to get that far and win enough games. But the thing that surprises me is their non-conference game, which I predicted it would be Navy. It's a tradition that I didn't think that Notre Dame would break. They broke their tradition with USC. And among other schools, yes, it's not Notre Dame's fault, but Notre Dame did do the one thing that the Notre Dame snobs always talk about, and is that they joined a conference finally. Just for one year, they claim. But you know what? B-Man thinks that they're going to stay in this conference for a long time. So that being said, this will be the first time Notre Dame hasn't played Navy, I think, since the 1930s, which is a very, very long time. Uh, this is the first time Notre Dame hasn't played Southern Cal. I had to fact check myself. Since 1946, let me tell you how long ago that was. That was one year after World War II. That's how much tradition Notre Dame has had with some of these teams they play every year. And it's going to be a different year. Not seeing Navy in the schedule. Not seeing Southern California. Now, originally Notre Dame had six ACC schools um, in their schedule before the COVID-19 because Notre Dame originally um, was going to get more accurate, with more involved, I should say, not accurate, involved with ACC games because they were semi in the conference but they really weren't and yes NBC is going to share revenue uh, with showing their games on uh, Saturdays in the fall at home with the ACC ESPN and the conference and all that mess all that garbage so let's get right into it guys let's get into the schedule I'm not going to make a prediction about their record I'll just tell you teams that really scare the shit out of me in this schedule and there's only maybe three of them so let's start off with their first game. Their first game is a home game against Duke. The time has not been announced yet at any of these games, so I'll just I won't even tell you what the time is because at every game so far, none of the times have been announced. Okay? So let's dive right into it. First game, like I said, is against Duke. That's their first game of the year, and it's a home game. Their second game is against which is their only non-conference game, is the Western Michigan Broncos. Notre Dame has played them. This will be their fourth time, I believe, playing them. I've always liked Western Michigan. I love Kalamazoo. It's a beautiful city. A lot of things to do up there. they got a great brewery up there. And I'm not much of a brewery guy, but I, I enjoy their brewery up there. It's, it's a lot of fun. And Western Michigan's a big-time party school. But uh, that, that, that that's a pretty interesting opponent for Notre Dame. I thought maybe it would be Navy, but I don't know what happened there. And then they go on their first road game the following weekend against Wake Forest. Then they're off the following weekend. Then they're home against Florida State, home against Louisville. At Pittsburgh, that's one of the games that scares the shit out of me. Notre Dame always seems to have fits with Pittsburgh, so that's a game that I'm going to be nervous about and probably hooting or hammering about and screaming and throwing things about because I Pittsburgh, they just drive me nuts. They always cause Notre Dame to have headaches and heart attacks. Then after that, they go to George Tech, and then the big game the following weekend, November 7th, is against Clemson at home. That'll probably be the game of the weekend. It might be even the game of the year, depending on what Notre Dame's schedule is at that time. Notre Dame could easily be undefeated at that time. We all know that Clemson's a big-time powerhouse. So if Notre Dame were to win that game, the next game just scares the shit out of me. And um, before I get into that, I think Notre Dame will compete with, compete with Clemson. Notre Dame seems to compete against these elite programs like everyone talks about during the regular season. But for whatever reason, when they're on the big spotlight in the bowl game or the uh, college football playoff uh, you know format that they had a couple years ago against Clemson in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas they completely got blown out and then when they were in the BCS championship game in 2012 they got blown out but for some reason like I said in one of my other videos I know I've said this a hundred times they just they just they played better during the regular season against these elite teams like last year against Georgia Florida State in 2015 Clemson in 2014 in the hurricane they just performed better they played better but for whatever reason Brian Kelly just doesn't prepare them against the um, bowl, big bowl game, spotlight games. So after the Clemson game, this game scares the crap out of me the most is Boston College because let's say if Notre Dame does upset Clemson because Notre Dame will be an underdog game, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Clemson game. Okay, most likely, 99.9% .9 sure that Notre Dame will be an underdog. 
if Notre Dame were to upset Clemson, and let's say by like a last second touchdown, last second field goal, just a uh, dramatic way to end the game, that next game against Boston College, and it's in Chestnut Hill, it'll probably be a night game. Boston College has always caused fits in Notre Dame too, just like Pittsburgh. I don't even want to remind you of Boston College, what they did in Notre Dame in 1993. Look it up. It's too heartbreaking to talk about. I'll start crying here on um, on this video right now. And you don't want to see B-Man cry. But if Notre Dame were <clears throat> to win that Clemson game, I will probably be more nervous about that Boston College game prior to the week than I would be against Clemson. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what Boston College has done. They've broken my heart before. After the Boston College game, which a game I wish they would cancel, or reschedule someone, they're off. They have a bye week. The following week after the bye week, they're at North Carolina. Um, then after that is their um, final home game, and that is December 5th. It's a late game for Notre Dame. I believe it's only the second time they've played in December at home, or I'm playing in December in the regular season at any time. I think it was back in 2001, and I checked that. It wasn't a home game. It was, it was against Purdue. It was because of 9-11. The weekend of 9-11, Notre Dame was originally scheduled to play Purdue, but they had to push that back because of the 9-11 attack, so they ended up playing Purdue at the end of the year on the first week in December. Notre Dame won that game, by the way. It was Bob Davies' last game. And then uh, um, that game is against Syracuse. So that'll be their final game of the year, December 5th, home game, final game. And then, they, of course, their ACC championship game is a week later, December 12th. Uh, you know what? You know, I really don't want to make a prediction for this record. I could see Notre Dame going... This is 11 games, so I could see Notre Dame maybe going 8-3, and 9-2 and two around there. Of course, they'll probably lose to Clemson. And I could see them tripping up against someone like Pittsburgh or maybe even, even get upset by somebody that they're supposed to beat. So that is pretty much it today, guys. I just wanted to get into um, their schedule and everything. And also, I just upgraded some of my equipment. I got a new computer, so I'm trying to relearn some video editing software here. I had to download last night because the software that originally was on Windows 10 is not there anymore. My, this computer I have is brand new. My old computer was 11 years old. I had the older version of 11, excuse me, I had the older version of Windows 10 on it. And of course, Windows 10 changes everything like every minute and it screws everything up. I hate Windows 10 and I do not like Microsoft. And uh, it's just, it's complete garbage and their updates screw up your computers, even if you have a great running PC. So I should have bought a Mac. You know, I'm, I'm learning my lesson. Maybe next time I'll buy a Mac if I ever get that much, that type of money. So, that's pretty much it. Hopefully Notre Dame makes it to the ACC championship game. Uh, everyone, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and go Irish. I'm a little calm today. I'm not I'm not going to be brutally honest about Notre Dame. It's just facts. I'm giving you their schedule. But I got them going in anywhere between 8-3 and three or 9-2. and two. But that's pretty much it. Have a good weekend. Stay safe and go Irish. And please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.